Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be looking at managing guests in Google Calendar. Once you've set up your meeting in Google Calendar, you then need to think about who you want to join. I can add guests over in the field here where it says guests, add guests, and I can put in the email address of the person I want to join. What you may have noticed is the moment I added that person in, it added a Google Meet. Now this might depend on the settings of your admin console, whether it adds it automatically. If not, let me just remove that person again, just so you can see that. You can actually click the button that says add Google Meet video conferencing if you wish to. With the Google Meet set up in calendar, you can see the link here that's for the Google Meet. You can see the button that you can join the Google Meet with, but you can also copy the instructions if you wish to email them to somebody. Or if you want to go into your video call options, you can do this and choose whether the quick access options are turned on for your meeting. Now, when setting up a meeting with guests, one of the key things is making sure that all the guests can attend at that time. And there's a great feature here called find a time. And that then puts your calendars side by side to show whether the person is free or busy. Now, both of these calendars are pretty empty because they're my training calendars. But obviously, if people use their calendar and populate it and you have access to it, then it will show you whether they're free or busy and then you can find a suitable time. So if that time wasn't suitable, then you could click on a different time and that would then become the new time and updated here. One of the key things when having a meeting is knowing where you're going to meet. So you can also add the location. So this could be the Academy's Trust. So let's find that here. And we can put that in there. There's a little option here as well. You can preview in Google Maps and that will open up on the right hand side there. One tip is if your call is going to be virtual, then don't put in a, a location like this and just put in virtual meeting. Over here on the right hand side, I can also manage my guests. If I hover over somebody, and click on the little icon, I can mark them as optional or I can remove them from the invite. There's also options here for guest permissions where I can say all the guests can actually modify the event or whether they can invite others and see the guest list. So you might want to change this depending on who is invited and what type of event you've got. So I'm going to click save. When I do so, it says I'm going to send an invite to all my guests. I don't have to send it, but normally obviously you would. So I'm going to click send and my guest has received the invite. If I actually go back into my event, I can see here whether my guest has accepted the invite or not. So as you can see, me as the organizer, I've got a little tick. At the moment, there is nothing next to the name of my guest. As the guest, I've received the invite and this is what the email looks like for my event. Here I've got some buttons to choose whether I'm going to attend. So I've got yes, maybe no. Under the yes, you'll see this little drop down option and you can say yes, I'm going to attend, yes, in a meeting room or yes, joining virtually. And so this will help your host know exactly how you're intending to join the meeting. So as you see, this is green and then it's added to my calendar and back into the host view, I can now see there's a little tick next to their name to confirm they're attending, and there's a little camera icon to show that they're joining virtually. If I do make any edits to my calendar event, so I'm going to create meeting notes, for example, which are great so that all people have access to the same document in your meeting, I'm going to click Save. Because there's been a change, it's going to ask me if I want to update my guests with this change. So I could just say I have added meeting notes. I can click send and they'll receive that. Often if there's just a very small change that's insignificant, then I won't send that update email. If I do want to communicate further with my guests, I can click on the event and there's some options here. I can click a chat with guests and that will open up a Google chat room with them. Or I've got the option to email my guests and I'll open up an email and I can send it to them. So I really hope this has helped you understand how you can better manage your guests in Google Calendar.